we have a pothole disaster and then the state, while claiming to have a pothole reimbursement fund, is denying 99% of all claims, finally someone is trying to fix this. So you're dodging potholes for two months wondering when are they going to fix these? Just hoping and praying you don't end up on the side of the road like Tiffany Lavodi did. I heard a big pop, like a big bang, and immediately heard scraping. So I pulled off in front of that line of cars that I had realized were off to the side because they had all hit the same pothole. While the state has been slow to fix potholes, they sure were quick to deny her claim. They said, quote, there is no evidence to indicate that the state had prior knowledge of the hazardous condition or sufficient resources or time to take corrective action, unquote. The police officer said that I was one of a couple dozen individuals that they had been reporting to that specific pothole for that, for those four, four plus days they had been responding to. It had been a recurring issue. He said the TDOT guy had been out an hour prior and they had to call him back because so many people hit it in that hour. So they definitely knew about it. But wait, the state denied based on lack of knowledge of the pothole. Don't be surprised. The Department of the Treasury, which is in charge of reimbursing for pothole damage, denies 99% of all claims. Not hard to do when your standard is that TDOT has to have prior knowledge of the exact pothole that caused the damage and have a reasonable time to fix it. So what exactly does that mean, reasonable? Just try to get the state to give you a reasonable answer to that question. Who's deciding what a reasonable time is? Somebody is, right? It isn't doing it by itself. It isn't magic. You don't throw the application in a box and it comes out reasonable. It's a fair question. Who is deciding what is reasonable and what is unreasonable? Cases are determined by the investigator working on the claim and by information provided by the claimant and provided by the Tennessee Department of Transportation. If you find that answer insufficient, yeah, you're not alone. State Representative Dan Howell, who is the chairman of the House Transportation Committee, says the reporting system doesn't work. Well, if you're driving down the road, you hit a pothole, and you know that you've got to pull over and get out your cell phone and look up the website and report it, you're not going to do that, are you? Most people aren't. So I think what we're looking at is uh, maybe an 800 number, and I hope that 800 pothole is not taken <laughs> because that fits perfectly. We still have the problem of whether or not TDOT acknowledges the pothole was reported, as in Tiffany Lavodi's case. To have that answer come back, we didn't know. That does not feel honest, Rebecca. I don't know where that misstep is happening if this is truly the case if that officer is truly you know calling every day um so i think there are a lot of things that go into a situation like that i think it's fair to say it needs to be fixed somehow some way this has got to be fixed we can't have a year or next year like this year you know we're, we're taking action steps on multiple fronts um, it's just going to take time to see exactly what happened and how we can shift to correct. Representative Howell has filed a bill asking for TDOT and the Department of Treasury to change the way they process pothole claims. Reporting is just one part of it. Denying 99% of pothole claims is the second big piece. And he thinks the state is ready to make this right. Treasurer Lillard's his responsibility is to satisfy these claims up to $100,000. Anything over that goes to the AG's office. And we've had very good conversations and they're in, they're in agreement. I've talked to TDOT and they've come alongside. And uh, uh, the bottom line is, is we have to serve the public better. So it was this left tire that completely blew out. Tiffany Lavodi can tell you all about that because all she was served was a big pothole that came with an $1,100 bill. I haven't taken 40, by the way, going to work in, in months. <laughs> so TDOT has a new task force looking at every aspect of what happened this year, from the reporting system to the type of asphalt being used to coordinated response. That's the front end. We will continue to monitor the back end to see how and when the state will start paying people for pothole damage. I'm Dennis Ferrier, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.